Okay, boys and girls, welcome to the next video. Uh, today we've been talking uh, about uh, a video on rounding. Um, it's a short video, uh, hopefully not too much complicated, and most of you probably have done this before at school. Um, but let's do some couple of examples to explain how we do it. So let's spin up a whiteboard, and this is our topic rounding. Now, rounding is useful when you're um, doing calculations as well. So it's a pretty long application, and you want to check your answers. So if you can round, then um, it's easy to check, to verify if your answer is sensible or not. But let's give let's do the example here, given in the book, which is three, four, five, three. Now you must to do rounding. You must know your placeholders, your place values. So this is the units column. Okay, it's the units column. So put the red, different color units. It's a tens column, it's a hundreds column, and it's a thousands column. Now we're going to round, first of all, we're going to round to the nearest, um, nearest ten. Nearest ten. And there's two steps to doing this, so let's do example. So first step, number one, is you circle the tens column, because you, just, you want to do the nearest ten, so circle that. And then put a straight line, a dotted line, to the right of it. And you ask yourself, is the number behind the dotted line, is it 5 or above? 5 or 5 and above? If the answer is yes, then uh, then the tens, col the tens column, or the number that we circled, will go up by 1. If the answer is no, no change. Now, if we look at... Um, the right of it, which is free, is that five and above? No, it's not. So there's no change. So that's the first step. Second step, to the right of the dotted line, it turns all the numbers turn to zero. Zero. Okay. To the right, it's dotted after the dotted line turns to zero. After the line turns to zero. So so this one turns to zero. So so we're going to move it becomes. So three, four, five, and uh, to the dotted after dotted line turns to zero. So that's the nearest ten. And so really, that's that's basically when you round to the nearest ten, you 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 got a choice. Either you're gonna keep it as it is, so three four three four five zero, or you round it up. Yeah, three four five zero, three four five four three 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 five six zero. So you got a choice. Either it's fifty, it's near closer to fifty, it's nearest ten. That's the nearest ten, or it's closer to. 16. That's what rounding is. It's which is it closer to the in terms of the nearest 10 to the 10s are either 50 or 60. So let's give another example. Let's do the example in the book, which is rounding to the nearest hundred. Nearest hundred. Again, so uh what you do, let's this up. Let's, so first of all, step number one, you round the hundred column, because that's what you want to do, and you put a straight line dot line to, to the right of it. And you ask yourself, is it five? Is to the number to the right of it five or above? That's the first question. And the number to the right is five, and it says is five or above. So I said yes. And because it's yes, that means the four goes up by one. So Add one to the circle letter. Add one to circle letter. Circle letter. So three states. Is this four turns to five? That's step number one. And step number two: all numbers to the right of it. All numbers to the right of line. Right of line turns to zero. Turns to zero. So it is three five zero zero. Three five zero. So to nearest hundred, it'd be three five zero zero. So that number is is it can either be closer to three thousand four hundred or three thousand five hundred. It's actually close to three thousand five hundred. So that's why it's nearest hundred. Um, we'll do one more example, a bit more complicated example, and again we use the same technique. Let's start this one from scratch. So let's do uh, three, 
seven, nine. Uh, let's, 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 do, let's do make it more difficult. Three, nine. Same three nine nine three nine nine four, and we're going to round it to nearest uh, nearest hundred. So the first thing we have to do is to label these. So this is units, this is tens, this is hundreds, and this is thousands. Then because nearest 100, I circled a 100 column and looked to the right of it and I put a dotted line. And I looked to the right of it, of that dotted line, it's 9. So that's step number one. So you ask yourself, is it 5 or above? Above. And 9 is 5 and above. They say yes. So that 9, so the 9, so you set so a circled letter, is 9 on this side. On and nine becomes ten. So, so now we have to uh, carry over. So that nine turns into ten. So zero. Add one to the thousand column. So, so become forty. So that's step one. Step two. All numbers to the right of it, to the right of the line. Right, right of line turns to zero. Yeah, so four thousand. That is the answer. So the answer is four thousand. So that really, so this number is closer to three thousand. See, either the question you're asking is it close to three thousand nine hundred or four thousand? Because that's near. That's the two hundreds. That's in, could be line three, and it's closer to four thousand. That's the nearest hundred. Okay, that's the uh, end of this topic around it, and we'll leave it there.